Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Jesse, and then in today's tutorial, I've learned about how to change your Jupyter notebook team. So, first of all, you need to get some teams, then you can just go with Jupyter search, Jupyter search, right? Jupyter teams. So, you go to Donovac, which I've already opened here. You will navigate to Stout and then the Compile. So, you can choose any of these teams that you want. So, you're choosing one dog, one dog, okay. So after that I'll save it. Control X. I'll save it as one dog team. One dog team. Right? My desktop. So after that I'll just go to after saving my team. I'll go to control. Oh I'll go to this place or oh, star X rather. Then run. Start X, the start key, Windows key, and then the X, and enter into your to find this folder where you can put your custom team. Okay, so inside this place, you create a folder called custom or a directory called custom, which is very important. Then you copy your team that you created. So this, this is my team, one dog team. So you copy this team. Then you paste this team inside your custom directory or custom folder. And then you rename this team as custom, which is also important. No, it's not going to see it. Custom. So custom.css because it's a CSS file. So there's one thing you have to do when you download straight away. You can you have to check on or comment out this div.main toolbar so that you able to see the main toolbar so you search for it and then you comment comment it with this like the normal css comments so that is it so after that you just run it inside your terminal so jupyter notebook so this is just going to open it and then it's with the team that you chose which is very nice so let's wait as it opens okay so you navigate to this url or to open by default on your default browser so there's it which is very nice to me i prefer this one better than the white default one so with all your packages notebook julia and python so let's try something in julia everything works perfectly so you see that the custom the main two is here okay, so let's try something like a is equal to random then creating some random numbers at the end. then you can just run it like normal running And it's going to run perfectly fast. So this is one of the ways you can use to change your teams. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can put it inside the comment section so that everybody can also benefit. And please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed.